Hello Cancer and welcome to your April tarot reading. Thank you so much for clicking on the video and joining me today. We're gonna dive right in, Cancer. So of course I'm gonna invite you to like this video and to subscribe to the channel. Thank you in advance, I appreciate it. Okay, Cancer, what is the general energy for you? April 2023 for Cancer. Okay, this one wants to come through. Let's honor that. We have the Queen of Swords. Ah, oh, I like it. So, you know, the Queen of Swords is a survivor. She's been through so much and she's still standing, still aligned and still showing up for herself and for the people that she loved. But yeah, the Queen of Swords, I always felt, was a major survivor energy. Honoring all that you've been through and now ready to be a little bit more mindful how you communicate with others, how you speak of yourself. There's a lot of awareness around the thoughts, around the mind, the nervous system with the Queen of Swords. The Queens are really about nurturing their specific suits. So here we're really speaking of how are you nurturing your nervous system, your mind, and your thoughts. Um, this could be about so, so many things. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the Tarot has to say about this fabulous energy cancer what is happening here what is happening here with the queen of swords the cancers okay the star and the four of wands so very interesting right away we are seeing the deepest healing energy in the tarot. So I don't know if some of you have been going through a lot recently, especially mentally. This feels like you are much more aligned between your heart and your mind. There is something that feels very aligned, very good. It feels like you found a way to work with your center when you have to make a decision, when you choose to communicate with someone, it really comes from the heart. So that tells me that you might have no time to waste for people and energy that are not aligned with your truth. You now the Queen of Swords is a lot about that. She reminds me a lot of the Justice card in the tarot. In your relationship, you could be noticing right now and it could be, you know, relationships in love, friendship, family, uh, acquaintances, people at work. I think that you're going to be noticing in the month of April who is not reciprocating your energy, who is not on your level, and who is not aligned with your truth, really. So it definitely feels like there is a get out of my way type of situation. You don't make me feel good. Well, you can get out of here. It feels like you're learning to embody some type of boundaries. And it's one thing to have boundaries, but to really embody them and being honest with ourselves and other about those boundaries, you know, which the Queen of Swords, again, is a lot about that. She's so many things. Um, it creates a lot of magic and a lot of support all around you. <clears throat> Very interesting. And you know, I notice my throat is getting very itchy right now. And that to me as a reader is always a confirmation. There could be a little bit of a little bit of difficult energy connecting communication. Having messages that don't go through. Having people not necessarily understand where you come from and what you're trying to express. And that can create a lot of frustration, you know, when you're, again, wanting this reciprocated energy. I am giving you all of myself. I am giving you time, energy, my truth. Can you do that for me? Can you at least do the bare minimum when it comes to communicating? 
I do feel here like you are finding yourself, finding some freedom, maybe letting go of some type of relationship that does not give back. We'll see. We'll see. Definitely this month, your words are very important, Cancer. How you speak, how you interact with people, and making sure that you are being heard and understood well is going to be very, very important. It's not everyone who understands where you come from, especially if you survived a lot of challenges and traumas. Um... I do feel like this month is about choosing whose energy really supports you and your growth and your healing journey because this seems like it's at, it's at the center of your world right now. Ten of Swords, Seven of Swords, and we have the Seven of Pentacles. So I think that you are definitely learning to be more patient with yourself, to nurture yourself in ways that you haven't done before. Um, with the Ten of Swords, I know that this is a confirmation of everything I've been feeling. You releasing energy that are not aligned with you, not aligned with your truth. You've been through a lot, Cancer, and it seems like there could have been stories that were created, you know, stories that you have about yourself about not being good enough, being too much or being not good enough. Those stories are not true. They were created because of other people's energy, other people's, um, again, blockage. This is very weird what I'm sensing right now. It's like noticing that someone doesn't have the best intention towards you, but it does not scare you. It feels like it is a huge release to finally come to terms with that. Someone created a lot of stress in your life, and now you don't have the time to deal with this anymore. You don't have the energy. You are focused on nurturing yourself, on your mental health, emotional health, and again, you survived so many things. Are you really going to dwell on the past? Are you really going to dwell on someone who cannot even give you what you deserve? Very, very interesting energy here. Uh, with the Seven of Pentacles as center energy of this reading, we're really talking about the seeds that you planted. You know, I say this a lot when I see this card, but the seeds that you plant um, takes time to grow. Good things takes time. And a day you play, plant the seeds, sorry, is, is not the day you eat the fruit. So now you are very close to noticing things changing all around you. Noticing, again, the quote-unquote seeds that you planted flourishing. That, to me, says all the work you've been doing behind closed doors, all the invisible work, you know, your mental health, emotional health, your spiritual journey, your soul journey. The focus has been on that for a while. And what's happening here is the change within is shining through. And there's going to be a lot of clearing it's going to feel a lot easier for you to tell someone, I'm sorry, I don't feel good. I don't feel like you hear me. And I don't feel like we are on the same level in some ways. So again, you are honoring the past, honoring what you've been through, maybe with some friends, maybe it's a family member. I don't know. I know that you're saying goodbye to something that has been draining you mentally. It feels like a breath of fresh air. And again, it's nothing scary. It's a gift. It, it's happening because of how clear your mind is. And I don't know how you've been doing that, but whatever change you've been experiencing, whatever you've been focusing on, <laughs> the Knight of Swords is my card of focus, very interesting. 
Your soul is so happy and your soul is leading the way now. You could have felt trapped in a mental prison for a very long time, especially around a specific connection. And it doesn't have to be about a person. For some of you, it could be a job that you've outgrown, a job that you don't like anymore. You don't feel fulfilled. Same as a relationship, you know, there's something that you've outgrown, Cancer. There's something that just does not fit with you. Um, because your ego is taking less and less and less space, making space for the soul, what your soul really wants and needs. And that is, again, this light that's shining through. Really beautiful that the fool is coming out the moment I was talking about that. The internal change you experience especially around mental and emotional health, it's now shining through and people are going to notice those change. And some people are not going to be happy. And that's the thing. When we change so much and when we transform and grow, you will know right away who wants you to thrive, who is happy for you, and who is uncomfortable with you changing. There's going to be this natural clearing uh, and the more we clear energy that are not aligned with us, you know, the more space we're making for the good stuff. And that's why the fool is here. Fool is number zero. It's connected to infinite possibility. And number zero always tells me, like, I don't know what's about to happen. I don't know if... I'm making the right decision. I don't know why this is so uncomfortable. I don't know why it creates so much anxiety. I do feel like your nervous system is very activated this month. But as the weeks go by, the nervous system calms down, the soul leads the way, and there's this clarity in your mind at the end of April that is honestly priceless. And I think this is peace restored after an inner battle after <sighs> maybe losing your confidence for a while in a connection like that we have the knight of wands and the eight of wands in the reverse things are getting clear there's a new path that's opening for you and again it comes because you chose to clear what wasn't right for you and you are making space for the good stuff. So there's something very beautiful about you reclaiming your independence this month. Who are you if you're not this person's friend, if you're not this person's mother, father, kid, um, partner, neighbor? I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know who you're letting go of. It's going to be different for each and every one of you. And I'm talking about an energetical breakup, okay? So some of you definitely are not going to want to communicate. You know, the Eight of Wands is in the reverse here. I want to honor that. For some of you, and I don't know why I'm getting emotional saying that, um, for some of you, it's not even worth it to explain why you feel that way and why you were done with an energy. I do feel like for a lot of you, there is a person that is not available emotionally to receive what you have to say. That takes a lot of courage to accept that, to digest that and say, it's not mine to hold. This pain, the stress is just not mine to hold anymore. I cannot force someone to either say sorry or to give me the answers I need or to have, you know, a mature conversation. It's not everyone who's willing to do that. So sometimes we have to accept that we need to give this approval to ourselves. We need to, again, digest this whole situation and say, I'm out of here. Energetically, this is over. But you don't owe an apology, an explanation, an answer to anyone. This is what I'm getting here. Leave with your head up and trust that you are making the right decision for you. You know, and this is not coming out of the blue. This is something that's been simmering for a while. 
this is something that's been, again, keeping you trapped in a mental, energetical prison for a while. And you've been patient. Seven of Pentacles is center energy. You've been incredibly patient. And with the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, this tells me that a lot of this situation is not yours to hold anymore. It's been heavy. It's been heavy carrying on your shoulders, on your back, other people's BS. But I think you're done with that. I'm going to take another tarot deck and I really want to dive deeper. Tell me more about cancer, what's happening with them. What is happening when they finally release this energy that is not aligned with them? And the reading starts with the star card and the four of wands, which tells me that a lot of magic, a lot of magic is happening. We have the moon here. So the moon always come up in reading to confirm that everything is uncertain. That you might not get, sorry, clear answers to really nuance question. Because I think there's a lot of things you don't understand about this connection. There's a lot that you don't understand maybe about their behavior, about how you react in specific situations. This is someone who really gets under your skin at times. Um, and Cancer, if you have Taurus in your chart, if you are dealing with a Taurus, I invite you to watch the Taurus reading because there's so much that came through um, in the Taurus reading that I just did yesterday. So the moon is always talking about uncertainty and the cycles, you know, think about the moon and the cycles of the moon. And Cancer, you are ruled by the moon. And I told you that, I think, recently. I don't know who I said that to. Maybe some um, a Cancer I did a private reading with. You guys are ruled by the moon, meaning that you change all the time. The moon changes sign every two and a half days, something like that. So Cancer, you change constantly. And what happens when we evolve and change so much and we flow with the rhythm of the moon and the universe and the seasons and all of that? Well, sometimes people are just not fitting with us. They don't understand why we change our minds so much. Um, and, you know, I don't have much cancer in my chart. I have my Mars in cancer, which... I don't know if some of you know, but this is like one of the most challenging uh, <laughs> placement in a chart. And Mars is in Cancer as I'm speaking right now today. Um, my mood changes all the time. And I know it's because of this Cancerian energy that is so connected with the moon. And I accept that. I think it's helping me see the beauty in this constant change. I am flowing with the rhythm of the moon. And you guys, whatever your placement in Cancer is, you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, and Mars, I don't care. Everyone is welcome here. This specific placement in your chart that is ruled by Cancer and ruled by the moon is just... It will change constantly, just like the waves of the ocean, just like the cycles of nature. So maybe this is something that felt uncomfortable in your life. At one point, people saying, Cancer, you changed. Why are you saying that when two days ago you had a completely different opinion? Well, that's because you changed. That's because you are always learning something about yourself every day. You are evolving and transforming, just like the moon, you know, just like nature. So there's something, there's something beautiful here. And it's not everyone who is comfortable with the many, many, many layers of you. And again, say goodbye. Say goodbye to whatever isn't serving you and open yourself to whatever is meant to find you. Again, I feel like, you know, spring is coming. We're doing the spring cleaning everywhere. I know I'm starting to do a spring cleaning and I also do it energetically. Like, I am making space for new friends, new energy, new opportunity. 
And I'm doing that by saying goodbye to the old and saying goodbye to what does not fit me anymore. We have the three of wands and the six of swords. You're ready. You're ready to take action on something, some type of new beginning, some type of new passion. I definitely feel like there could be new opportunities for you showing up. It could require paperwork. It could require you showing up on your best behavior. So if some of you are looking for a new job, a new opportunity at work, I definitely feel like the month of April is a month to be confident, Cancer. Walk in all rooms with your head up. And if you don't feel like it, fake it till you make it, okay? Um, I do feel like there is a lot opening for you. Doors are opening and you're going to have the opportunity to really choose what's best for you. Um, you're not wasting your time. You're not wasting your time this month. And again, if you're willing to be confident, keep your head up, ask for what you want. Take action on something, whatever it is, even if it's just, you know, having a conversation about this thing that you want or initiating it in some type of way. It's amazing. And is it is really supporting this move energetically that you're doing, this energetical graduation, which is the whole theme of the year with your card, you know, the Chariot Cancerian card being the card of the year numerologically. So this is such a big year for you, Cancer. I think that more than anybody, you are called to be honest with yourself and step out of whatever is not fitting you anymore. And that can be very scary and very uncomfortable. But again, keep your head up. You've been through so many, so much in your life. Again, Queen of Swords, is it's not just a coincidence that she's your general energy this month. I think that whatever stress you experience this month, whatever is stressing you out or whatever feels heavy or scary, the queen is your support here, queen of swords. And that is not connected to gender in any way. The queen, we can all embody whatever gender you identify with. The queen of swords is going to show up this month for you to help you remember in the most difficult times of your life, where did you find the strength to make it through? She's here to tell you, go back to that. Remember that you've been through worse situation. Remember that you are a survivor. You are not a victim. And if you know in your heart, you know, this is not for everyone, but if in your heart you are honest with yourself and you notice that sometimes you could be in this victim mentality mode because of what you've been through, which is valid. You know, sometimes we experience a lot of trauma and we can stay trapped in this victim mentality. I know that you've outgrown this. I know that you're letting that side of you behind. You are not a victim, you are a survivor. If you are here today, if you are lucky enough to have this moment of self-care, this moment to reflect with me in the tarot, you are luckier than most people. You know, this is self-care. This is um, the time we, we make for magic and for our emotional health, some of you mental health. You know, of course, I'm not a doctor and the tarot should never replace any uh, medical work, medical advice. But the tarot is a, an amazing support energetically. So just the fact that you're here watching this reading, again, you're alive. You made it through. You are a survivor and not a victim. And I don't think you want to be seen as a victim um, the cancers I know are so badass. Definitely the most, you know, badass people I know are cancer. Um, and I don't think you want to stay in this, uh, in this mental prison of feeling not good enough, of feeling like the universe never sees you. I do feel like there could have been a lot of things coming up recently. Like, why does it look so easy for other people? What am I doing wrong? What is wrong with me? Like those things coming up to the surface and actually there's nothing wrong with you. 
And the proof is that you're asking yourself the right questions. You're digging deep, you know? I like that. Look at that. Look who's at the bottom, of, at the bottom of the deck. The Wheel of Fortune. This is it. The wheel is turning for you, finally. So all those questions, especially if you connected it what I just said, like, why does it look easy for other people? Why am I always feeling stuck? Why do I always have to fight for people to love me, for things to happen? I think that the universe is definitely sending you a sign. Be careful with how you speak of your journey, how you speak of yourself. Don't compare your journey to others. Keep your eyes on your own paper. Queen of Cups, the Sun, and the King of Wands. Okay, so for some of you, there could definitely be uh, the spark of something connected to love. I always love to see, you know, King and Queens together. Again, it's not about gender, but there's this equilibrium. There's this balance energy here. Water, you, and fire working together and boiling uh, there's passion, there's magic, there's something very exciting. And the sun says, enjoy this beauty. Happiness comes and go, you know, you don't just get to happiness and stay there. It's just like a beautiful day of summer. It's just like a rainbow. It is not permanent. And I think that in the month of April, especially at the end of the month, you are able to notice the beauty, not only all around you, but within yourself. And it makes it a lot easier for others to see you and love you and reciprocate that love. If you're looking for love, if you're dealing with a fire sign or, you know, really anyone, it doesn't have to be anyone specific, but um, there is definitely the spark of something getting to the next level of a relationship and again noticing the beauty the happy moments um and the little things i really like that there's a lot of potential for growth for stability and for a long-term commitment and it doesn't have to be about romance for some of you it can be if you are in a relationship already, you could be getting to the next level of a relationship. And if you're single, there could be the spark of something. New online communication, someone asking you on a date. I think it really comes in as a surprise. And it's going to be your decision, you know. It's going to be your call to say, yeah, I'm saying yes. With the three of, so with the three of wands, sorry, here with... On top of the Fool card, Knight of Wands, King of Wands, I do feel like there's this confidence, this boost of confidence, this wave of confidence that is happening at the end of the month. And you're going to be saying yes to something that your brain, your ego, your mind is fighting for you to say no to. The brain wants to keep you stuck in the same place, but the soul and the heart is saying yes to something new. So, yeah, it could be a new friendship. It could be a new opportunity for a job that you feel good waking up every day to go to. New experiences, new passion is what I'm getting. We're going to pick Moonology card, okay? I really want to know what the moon, your ruler, has to say. Cancer, what do we need to know? <clears throat> look at the bigger picture i love it so this is sagittarius energy sagittarius the symbol of the sign is the arrow how can you embody the arrow the symbol of the arrow this month taking action saying yes trusting that your heart is leading the way and trusting that whatever you're saying goodbye to is actually to make space for the better things. There's a lot of beauty about to show up in your life. But that doesn't mean that the month is going to be easy. And Cancer, I know. I know many Cancers. And I know that you guys don't have it easy most of the time. You guys are very complex. Many, many layers again to the Cancerian energy. Which when people really take the time to get to know you. And people get to that vulnerable side of you. Oh my goodness. Magic happens. Magic happens. 
Um, who wouldn't fall in love with a cancer? Just to be honest, I feel like we all had an experience with a cancer at one point. Maybe I'm just talking for myself, but I feel like you guys are embodying the arrow this month. A lot of movement, a lot of change, and a lot of passion. So look at the bigger picture. In the moments where you feel stuck, again, when you experience anxiety and stress and ups and downs, remember, I've been through worse than this. I am a survivor. Notice when the queen of swords comes out in your own readings or if you listen to other tarot readers, always remember that this is a big, big, big important energy for you in April, okay? Cutting through the fakes, the lies, victim mentality, and making space for the sun, you know, for this new season of your life that is starting. So Cancer, I'm going to be talking to you in your next reading, which is going to be the bonus reading. Thank you for being here. You know you can join me on Patreon if you love the way I read tarot. I teach a lot of cards and I do tarot lessons there. I'm on camera. I talk about my life and uh, I do mystery readings every Saturday and pick a card readings every first of the month. So there's going to be a very cool pick a card reading coming out tomorrow. Come check it out. Bye, Cancer.